So I'm glad you're back um, and we're ready to start our layers. Um, one thing first though, I would love it if you guys would go back to your image of your face. And like, like we did in the last video, please save this one as well as a PSD. So go in there, save it. And that way you're not going to lose this one either if the program shuts down or uh, you get logged out. Um, the unfortunate thing about this particular online program is that it does not have auto save. So you definitely have to save it. Um, so let's go back to our uh, background image that we created. And now we're going to create a layer. So we're going to go up to layer. And you're going to hit new layer and you're going to see over here on your right hand side um, that a new layer has popped up so to do anything on either one of these you have to um, activate it so let's say I wanted to draw something on here then I have to make sure to click on that layer if I want to draw something on here I have to make sure to click on that layer okay so let's do our um, petals first. So that's um, so that we're going to go up to ellipse uh, select and we're going to select that. So now we have our circles. So just make a circle you think is relatively a good size for one petal. Let's say about there. There we go. And we're on a new layer, so make sure that you're on a new layer and you're not on the background layer. Um, and now we're going to change the color. So we're going to go with yellow, but you can go with any color you want. Click here. And I'm just going to do two, just in case. I want to do a gradient, which we won't. Um, we're going to try to keep it easy for your first one. But that option is there. And now we're going to go into the fill. So the fill, go into the gradient folder that you were in before. See how it says gradient tool? Now you're going to go into paint bucket tool. So you're going to click on that and it's going to change to the paint bucket. You're going to go over to where you had that and you're going to click on it right in the middle somewhere. And now you see that it has changed to yellow. So those little lines are still on the outside, the borders. So we know that that's still active. So now what we're going to do is go over to edit. And we're going to go copy. And now we can paste. So we can hit paste. Oh, and what happened? Our lines changed. Well, this is what happened. So we're going to go up to the little arrow button so that we can move that already pasted one over. So we go over to that arrow button, click that one. That's that one in the corner. And now we're going to move it. Oh, we've created two. So you're going to make a bunch of these. And Normally we would layer that we would name these, but we're not going to name it just yet, and I'll show you why in a second. We're going to make a few of them, so we're going to hit paste again. Where did it go? Well, it's over top of the original. So we're going to do a few more. So keep pasting. Back to edit. Oops. Where did I paste? There we go. And we're just going to keep doing that until we think we have enough. We need one more. And there we go. Okay, so it's a little haphazard, so let's arrange these a little bit better. And don't worry about where it is right now. 
on the page. I'm going to start with the first one. We're going to go back to the layer, this little layer area. And we're going to click on layer number one here. We're going to make sure we're, we have that arrow button so we can move it around. See how it's got its boxes can move around. So we're going to just set that one there. I'm going to go to layer two. I'm going to move it a little bit closer there. Layer three. Move that a little bit closer. Perfect. Keep moving up. Layer four. Move that a little bit closer. Layer five. Oops, that was an accident. Layer five. And if something like that pops up, just hit the X button that was in the corner. Um, most likely you've just hit a button by accident. Uh, so now layer six. There. So once you have a relatively, um, that's layer seven I think, that's pretty good. So once you have your petals in the shape of a flower and you're happy with it, you're going to stop. And this is the step I was talking about. So we're going to we're going to highlight all of these and we're going to group them together. And how you do that is um, you hold down your shift button on your keyboard. So the, there should be a button on your left hand side, a pretty longer button that says shift on it. S-H-I-F-T. You're going to hold that down and then you're going to go through all of them and click on them. So you've got number seven highlighted click on six, see how they both dark, um, had a darker color, five, four, three, two, one. So now they're all, and then you can take your hand off the shift button. Now they're all highlighted together and we're going to go over to the top. We're going to go to layer and you're going to scroll down layer and on here you might not see it at first but it's right down at the bottom not flatten image but merge layers so it says merge layers you're going to click on that what just happened huh you merged all of those petals together make sure you're on the arrow button and now we're going to drag that in a good position let's say we want to put it in the middle right here. Okay. Let's just deactivate it. There we go. Okay. So it wants it, it so when you see this right here, that means you can turn it. We don't want to do that. We just want to leave it. Um, okay got some buttons popping up here on my own desktop. So that's it for now. We're going to go to the next video soon. Um, I just want to remind you to save again. So we're going to go up. We're going to save as PSD. And that's just going to resave what you've already done. Okay, so that's it for that video, but we will continue in the next video. And you're probably wondering why are why are you watching this in in short video clips? Um, it's because uh, it's it's easier for you to go back into it. If you've worked on something and you decided, you know what, I'm going to put this on hold. I've got other work to do. You can always go back to that section. Uh, it just makes things easier for you, and it also makes things easier for me when it comes to uploads, especially to YouTube. Because if you're a YouTube user, you know that uh, um, after 10 minutes, it's a little bit harder to upload your videos. So I'm trying to keep things down um, to under 10 minutes for that reason. Anyway, um, hopefully these chunks of videos will be helping you to create your GIF. So check in with the next video.